Welcome to POV number eight. As you can tell, I'm in this crazy Kansas traffic and these people are stopping and going on this damn highway. But hey, I just got off a 12 hour shift and I got the next three days off. So I'm gonna be getting some gaming in, gonna be getting this job thing done. And you know, obviously keeping you up to date with some random news. But for now, I'm gonna talk about how my car is doing so if you saw a picture on twitter basically it showed like what was left of most of my mud flap so i don't know what happened either it was a freaking heat or something got caught up underneath there anyways my friend aaron came through which i know he watches these videos and he helped me fix it so big props to aaron and my, a funny little tidbit he uh, finally watched Black Panther this weekend and I told him that I was gonna get him a daishiki so be prepared for that video when I give him the daishiki he probably doesn't believe I'm gonna do it but I'm gonna get him one <laughs> so yeah that's basically the update on the car hopefully I'll probably get it washed this week and then I'll actually show y'all the car so then you know you can get a feel of what y'all be seeing on in the photographs and stuff like that and also give you a synopsis of what i plan on doing to the car anyways uh there was a lot of gaming news that came out last week including but some of the major stuff that happened or went down obviously the big one is call of duty released a new trailer for call of duty 3 the Locked behind DLC, uh, I mean Call of Duty Black Ops 4. My bad. I called it Call of Duty 3. Well, it might as well be a Call of Duty fucking Black Ops 3 DLC because that's what it looked like. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, that, that shit looked like trash. I'm sorry. Looked like utter trash. And I don't really care about it. I definitely don't care about it anymore because they don't have a campaign mode. It's like, hey. We're gonna take the campaign mode. I guess that was a precursor with Black Ops 3 though, because I think the, or was it, I, either Black Ops 3 or was it uh, Infinity War? One of those two didn't have a campaign mode for the Xbox 360 and PS3. So now we officially got a full $60 game with just multiplayer and zombies, which, I mean, I bought Black Ops 3 for because me and my friend Aaron, we played for the co-op mode on there, and then we did a little bit of zombies, and I did some zombies with my cousin and some other people, but I mean, at the same time, it wasn't like, oh man, I gotta play this every day, so I don't know. I'm not obviously buying it. I don't think my friends are gonna buy it. I, I think they lost, uh, I think they're gonna lose a lot of more people than they think they are with the whole no campaign mode. I know some people are out here like, well, you don't just buy Call of Duty for a campaign. I know that. You, Call of Duty is kind of like an all around package. So, you know, you play some campaign mode, you can play some, you know, zombies, or you can play the multiplayer. And speaking of the multiplayer on Black Ops 4, I guess they're adding uh, the long-rumored Battle Royale mode that they were supposed to have in there. Which, honestly, I don't give a fuck about Battle Royale right now. Or if ever. I play PUBG every now and then. But, yeah. I'm not a big fan of Battle Royale. I, I could care less about it. It's just gonna be another genre that they're gonna just keep running with until they're running to the ground. I wouldn't be surprised if Splatoon 2 came out with a battle royale because everyone keeps bringing it up. Because Nintendo is supposedly supposed to announce some a big announcement when E3 comes around about that game, supposedly. So, I guess we'll see. Speaking of Splatoon 2, uh, the Splatfest for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has officially ended. And I gotta say that the last round was uh, complete ass. I constantly was running into disconnects, connection errors, and 
people not actually playing the fucking game, which is fun, you know? One person would sit there, I, I'm, I'm dead serious, I did not record this, but it was like the last game before the, before the uh, event ended. And there was a guy literally just sitting at our home base, not doing anything. And then he would move, splash part of the area, and just stand there. Now mind you, what pissed me off the most was I was only six points away from getting another king uh, status. And we ended up losing it, so I only got two points. And that's what really pissed me off because we needed that you, you need the whole team to keep pushing in order to win. And we were partially winning in the beginning, but because this person wasn't doing anything, we started automatically losing because we didn't have somebody else to push. So, yeah, that really pisses me off. I think the whole Splatfest, I, I, I kind of ran into that same problem with the Mikey versus uh, Donnie one, but it wasn't as bad as this one. So, I don't know. It obviously changes my perspective on the Splatfest. It also really changes my uh, perspective on the uh, Nintendo Online, because, I mean, if you don't have dedicated servers, then, you know, this is gonna be kind of futile. But I guess, you know, if you get those kids in and those broke people to buy the service, then, you know, you'll be good. But there's been rumors that people might end up abandoning Splatoon 2 if the online ser uh, service kicks in or just abandoning a lot of games in general just because it's free. So I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe maybe an outcry will be enough that Nintendo will keep it free, but uh, it seems like they're going to be going through with it. And there is no talk of a virtual console yet, so that's kind of it's kind of disappointing. <laughs> and the last little bit of gaming news is, I guess apparently Best Buy's Game Club Unlocked is officially dead. So if you don't know, Game Club Unlocked is basically kind of like a, it's like a discount service that Best Buy offered for gamers. So basically you would get like 20% off any new game. And I mean, when I say 20% off any new game, that includes any game that's, that's coming out, that's being released, and any actually physically new game that they have in stock, online and offline, or in store. So yeah, that, that's a big freaking advantage for people who may, you know, who knows, you may wait like two or three months, the game goes on sale, and you can get 20% off of a game that you wanted to wait and see if it was worth playing. And honestly, they offered 10% uh, off on used games, which, I mean, doesn't seem like much, but seeing as like GameStop, I know they're pro elite, whatever gives you more off of used games, but Best Buy just had a significant uh, deal for gamers. And with Amazon basically saying, you know, fuck gamers, we're only going to give you like two weeks to have your, uh, to have this discount with Prime before, you know, we stop it. Because, I mean, you get 20% off with Amazon too. But like I said, you only get two weeks and it didn't cover collector's editions, which, you know, you would be kind of insane to order a collector's edition off of Amazon anyway, because, you know, Amazon, if you ever seen what Amazon does, it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a letting a cannibal deliver your newborn baby. It, does, it doesn't turn out too well. <laughs> but yeah, so that was kind of a blow to gamers who actually used it. And I'm sure this, this may affect Best Buy's uh, bottom line, because honestly, I wouldn't, honestly, unless I'm like price matching something there, 
I rarely use Best Buy except for mainly to get games. So, and I mean, for $30 for two years, that was a big, huge, uh, that was kind of a big, huge deal. So, mm -hmm. I don't know what Best Buy's thinking was. Maybe, maybe it was hurting their, uh, maybe it was the only way they could keep their doors open. Maybe they're losing too much money. Maybe the system was too complicated or possibly maybe people were use, abusing it. You know, you never know when pe when companies do this type of thing, so. But, you know, like I said, Best Buy, obviously, we all know Best Buy should have went out the same day that Circuit City went out, but they kept their doors open, so. But I don't know about this new change. Maybe they'll change who knows, maybe that it'll come back in a different form, but from all what accounts it looks for, I know the guy who runs a cheap ass gamer, he posted up that he's gonna try and keep uh, keep uh, G Gamer Club Unlock, try and help keep it going, but I don't know. Doesn't look too good, so. And there was like a letter that was uh, posted online, apparently that was verified from employee that they are gonna stop selling it, so. Rest in peace, gamer clubs unlock. <laughs> but man, I mean, yeah, it was kind of a somber week. <laughs> but anyways, I'm not gonna talk too much. I wanna get home, gotta take my dog out, and I'm gonna go to sleep. But hopefully you enjoy, and I will catch you next time. Peace.